Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Elena and in today's video I would like to share with you nine Hoyas that I had to restart and why. <laughs> well, let's start off by why. Some of you already know that I had so far pretty crappy year. End of January I got sick with COVID and I was pretty sick for about 10 days. It took me about a week to just water my plants and I was so tired you guys for the whole 10 days. I would start watering my plants and then I'd get tired, go take a nap, come back, then I forget what I watered, what I didn't water. So basically I end up overwatering most of the plants. That was end of January. In February, unfortunately, war on Ukraine started and that is absolutely devastating and heartbreaking to watch. I'm sure a lot of you guys kind of disconnected from your personal life and your personal problems and just really focused on that because it's, it is absolutely horrible. In the beginning of March, we've lost two members in our family, which is absolutely heartbreaking and we are kind of dealing with that. Also, we have a family cottage that we started major remodeling on back in October and we just finished one of the baths rooms we just came back last weekend so it's been a lot we've been working a lot we were doing a lot there's a lot of heartbreak and um, problems that we had to work on basically that is why i've been killing my plants i'm literally just putting band-aids on the situations and trying to catch up with my life and catch up with my plants trying to get back to enjoying my hobby and um, really paying a little bit more attention when i can <laughs> Now you know why I've been killing my plants, I guess, and why I had to fix them. <laughs> so I'm just gonna grab them randomly and show you the ones that I had to restart and the actual issue that they had. First Hoya I wanna start with is Hoya Memoria, also known as Gracilis. You have seen this plant before. It used to live in my grow cabinet. It was doing pretty well. It was growing pretty well and then it starts declining and this Hoya right here declines really really fast when it's unhappy. So basically all the leaves start rotting so fast. What I found wrong with this Hoya was not even a watering issue. It had root milly bugs which is, was a big problem and I had to basically cut it up and restart the whole thing. It's doing pretty well. It does have quite a bit of roots there. I don't know if you guys can see it. I hope you can. So it's doing pretty well. Soon I can probably pot it back up into my Hoya potting mix and um, hopefully it will start growing for me again. <laughs> Next Hoya I have here for you guys is Hoya Boyeri. Uh, you probably remember this Hoya from my plant tours. It was on my north window. It was pretty full. It was in pretty big pot, but it never grew for me. Since I bought this Hoya, it has never grown one leaf for me. So <laughs> I kind of ignored the situation. It was not dying. It was not doing anything. It was just there. And finally, I decided I need to address the situation. I chopped up that whole pot. I believe it was maybe six inch pot. I chopped it all up to pieces and now I have basically, oh my gosh, I have five giant cuttings here. I just put a bunch of them in the pots. So there's two of these. There is two more right here, you guys. <laughs> and there is one more right here. So I got five of these now. And since I chopped it up and restarted this whole plant, it's been growing, you guys. There's so much new growth. There's so many new leaves on this Hoya. Let me show you other ones. This one has some new leaves. Let's see here. This one have a ton of new leaves. This one have a ton of new leaves, so they've been growing quite a bit. And there's this one. A whole new vine is starting there. I mean, they've been all growing. They've, all, they've been all doing very, very well for me. The reason why this Hoya was not growing at all. So when I purchased this plant a while ago, I don't even remember, maybe 
year and a half ago I never repotted it. It was an original pot, an original soil. I never repotted it. I just kind of hung it on the window and watered it. But I realized like it hasn't grown anything at all. Once I took it out of the soil, I realized all of the roots were gone. They were rotted probably before I even bought it because like I mentioned, they nev it never grew for me. So basically restarted all of them, just chopped it up to pieces, restarted, they're all rooted for me. I'm not gonna show you all five of them because there is no point, they all, all have the same amount of roots. So, and my plan for this Hoya right now, since I have so many of them, I'm gonna put them back together in a larger pot and I'm gonna put it right here. You guys, you probably have noticed that thing been empty for a while, my little uh, candle holder right there. I used to have a different Hoya in there So I decided I'm gonna just basically put it back and let it kind of flow down and does have a lot of light here from my grow cabinet That is the plan for my Hoya Wayeti. Next Hoya I have right here, which is you guys have seen it also It lived in my bathroom before and I really really adored this Hoya. This is my Hoya Carnosa Crimson Queen. I believe it was on my hard trellis. It was pretty big. It was doing very, very well. And this Hoya right here, you guys, I overwatered big time. Here is another one. They're doing very, very well. There is roots. Let me show it to you. And I have four cuttings of these. Gotta show you this leaf. It's pretty cute. I think this leaf wants to be a carry eye. It's literally heart shaped, you guys. <laughs> and here is two more cuttings right here, you guys. They are so beautiful. And I gotta show you this leaf right here. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. So pretty. And check this one out. This one is absolutely gorgeous. It's like very soft bubblegum pink and it's have a little, little stripe right there of green. So they're all doing well. They're all fixed. Again, put a bunch of cuttings in each cup, like this cup right here have three cuttings. So I definitely had to chop it up to pieces and restart. But now look at the bright side. I'm gonna have a much fuller pot of this Hoya. Next Hoya I wanna share with you guys is my Hoya Shepardi Eye. This Hoya used to live in this candle holder that I've mentioned before. When I purchased this Hoya, I have never repotted. I just literally took it out and plopped it in here. It grew maybe a couple of leaves for me over time, but it that was it. So since it wasn't growing for me, I decided to take it out, check the roots. And again, this Hoya did not have any roots. They were all gone, you guys. So I don't know how they were hanging in there for this long, but they did. And since I chopped her up, she started growing, you guys. It's actually pretty fast growing Hoya, believe it or not. I have three different growth points here because I believe there is three cuttings in there or maybe, yes, there's three cuttings in there. Ton of new growth, ton of new leaves, which is amazing. And of course, there is a lot of roots there. And since it wasn't a very large Hoya to begin with, so I only have two cups of this Hoyas and each of them have three cuttings. And here's another one that I have. Look at this. This is crazy. And look at this vine, you guys. And there's also a bunch of roots on that. So this guy's gonna go in one pot and I will probably have it in a hanging pot and have it maybe on my window so it can trail and get really, really big, hopefully. <laughs> Next Hoya that I want to show you that was kind of the same situation also, you guys, I really need to start repotting plants when I buy them because you don't really know what soil it is in. A lot of times you find them in the nurseries and stores that they are grown in a peat or they are grown in very heavy soils. So basically that's why a lot of times you bring them home and they are not growing. And if you get them from a big box stores, you guys forget it. That is like needs to be repotted almost immediately. And I'm guilty of that. I actually have a few that I have never repotted. 
guys but they're growing they're doing well so all right moving on to the next Hoya which is my Hoya Valeri I Virigata same story as my regular Valeri purchased the plant never repotted dug it out discovered there is no roots no wonder it never really grew for me <laughs> pushed out a few leaves over the years but that was about it. it was struggling this whole time so and since it was not a large plant to begin with I only end up with two cups each cup have two cuttings there is a bunch of roots right there it's doing pretty well it's actually starting to grow for me guys look at those leaves they're so pretty and you actually have seen this one right here I did post it on my Instagram before. Look at those leaves. Oh, no filter needed, you guys. Those Hoyas are so beautiful. So this one also have quite a bit of roots there. Next Hoya I have for you guys is the one that I complained in almost every video when I was showing my Hoyas. That is my Hoya Chelsea. This Hoya struggled for so long, never really grew for me. After a while, it just pushed out just one leaf and it wasn't anything amazing. So decided to address this situation, same thing. It was a root rot. There was literally no roots in this plant. I don't even know how it survived this long because I really was ignoring for quite some time. Since I rerooted this Hoya, it's actually grew me, let me show you, all of this. You can even see right there, this is new stem, this is new stem. They're a little bit darker color. Basically, all it needed just new roots. <laughs> so, but we got it. It's growing now. It's growing pretty fast. It's doing pretty well. I fixed this little guy now. And it's funny because I actually end up buying a very large Chelsea. I think I showed it in my last mini plant tour video. It's pretty big. It's like eight inch pot. It's on my north window. So now I have a giant one and I have a little baby that's finally start growing. <laughs> Next Hoya I want to show you guys is, believe it or not, my Hoya Polynura. I overwatered her. I really did. It's very hard when your schedule is so off and you don't have your normal watering days anymore. You just do it what you can, like I mentioned before. Band-aid here, band-aid there. That's what happens. So... I did overwater her. She was not happy with me and I had to basically just chop her up and restart. But she's doing pretty well. I didn't want to cut node by node because I really would like to have a larger plant. So I took a chance and I just cut longer vines and tried to restart them that way. And it's doing pretty well. There is actually a ton of roots right here. Can, I hope you guys can see it right there. There's a bunch of roots. It did pretty well. As I've mentioned before in my previous videos, this Hoya roots very, very easily. It rooted very easily in water for me and Leka, even a lot faster in my propagation mediums. I am so glad I was able to save her because I bought this Hoya way before I even started my plant channel and um, it was very hard to find. It was very pricey and I bought a one node cutting with just two leaves and I rooted her in Lekka. And when I made one of my first videos, I actually had two cuttings already at this point because this Hoya rooted, it grew me a little bit of cutting, so I cut her up. It grew so much since and then I overwatered. Lesson learned, I guess. Next Hoya I want to share is my Hoya Sigillatis, you guys love this hoya it is absolutely beautiful hoya you have seen her before quite a few times she was living in my grow cabinet right here that was an overwater situation you guys for sure i bought her as just one cutting and now i have three in there so it's gonna be a much much fuller plant and once the spines grow even more, I will chop her up again, node by node. I just really would like to have a fuller plant of this Hoya. And it took off. Like, look at this. This vine is pretty long. This vine is right there. And there is another vine and tiny, tiny little leaves right there, you guys. It doesn't want to focus, you guys, but 
here they are. It is a little bit sun stressed as you could tell because I was keeping her in my grow tent for now and once I repot her I will put her in here again. Very very pretty Hoya. That was definitely a wish list Hoya a while ago for me and now I have three of them you guys which is awesome. And the last Hoya I want to show you guys is my Hoya Abovada. It's still big, I know, but I had to chop her up. You have seen this Hoya before. It lives on my south window right here. And this Hoya always did very, very well for me. It grew very well. It was doing beautifully. And all of a sudden, maybe a month ago, I was looking at it and it lost all of the firmness in the leaves. All of a sudden, they looked very, very limp, very, very sad. And I was pretty surprised because Abovada never really gave me any trouble at all. I decided to take it out and see what's going on and this this Hoya right here you guys had so many root mealybugs. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. If I find a photo I will put it right here you guys but it was it was infestation for sure. I've been through so much with them last year that I'm just done. I literally just chopped it off above the soil level and I didn't want to cut this Hoya because it took a while for it to grow this much and I didn't want to restart the whole plant node by node and all that. So I cut her in two pieces and what I decided to do with this Hoya, I did not propagate her in my rooting medium because of the size of this plant. There is no way tiny little cup could hold something this massive. So what I did is I just put those two large vines straight into my perlite box just stuck them in there, closed it up, put on the heat mat under the lights and you guys, it rooted so fast, so fast. It was amazing and I was so happy that I was able to save such a large vine. As far as I know with Hoyas, it's not necessarily good to propagate really, really long vines. But I took my chance and I did it and it's doing very, very well. In fact, there is more, Look, there's tiny little leaves there. So cute. The only problem in the propagation box was perlite that I found. I mean, it's not necessarily a problem. It's just such an unsightly look for me personally. But the whole vine had so many aerial roots. It looked so messy. I did not enjoy that. So I just chopped them off. It doesn't need them. It has soil roots. It's totally fine. I mean, it's not necessary, but for me, <laughs> I visually, I could not handle it. That looked pretty ugly to me. So now I have two of them. This one is the short one. It's gonna grow. They're gonna meet each other at some point. So these are nine Hoyas that I had to restart and now you guys know why. Also, I want you to know if your Hoyas starting to lose that firmness on their leaves, there is usually two reasons for it in my experience. One is over watering and all the roots are gone. There is no way plant can't absorb the moisture. And another reason, root mealybugs, you guys. So if you guys run into those kind of issues, anytime your Hoya loses that firmness, definitely check on the roots, unless you forgot to water it. I mean, if you forgot to water it, <laughs> the poor thing, so then it's definitely, it could be limp also, but if you water your plant and it's not bounces back within a few days, then it's definitely an issue with the roots. Don't be afraid to cut them if you have to. Sometimes we gotta do what we gotta do to save our plants and you know, it's a good experience. I mean, once you do it once, you get so comfortable. Honestly, I had no problem personally chopping any of those Hoyas up because I knew I'm going to save them no problem. And now I have probably quadrupled all of my plants, you guys. This is insane. I also have a quick update for you guys. If you are following me on social media, you might realize that I'm not really on Facebook anymore. I mean, I still have my account. I haven't been posting there, but I have been more active on Instagram and posting more photos. The only reason why, because I just don't have time to maintain all the social media platforms. I decided that I'm going to choose 
one and be present there because I still want to share more than what I share with you guys here on, on YouTube. If you guys missing me on Facebook, consider following me on Instagram. And who knows, maybe once my life get back to normal, I might be able to manage one more platform. But as of right now, that's the way it is. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like, share with your plant friends, and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.